is the number one best way to make people feel at home on your website. I will teach you the easiest way of adding dark mode to your website in three simple steps. The first one, CSS variables. Imagine if you could change the entire color scheme of a website with a single click. That's the power of CSS variables. They're like magic spells for web developers, allowing you to adjust the look and feel of a site with minimal effort. CSS variables can be created in different places and there's a special place we can put them so they are accessible anywhere and that's in the column root. The variables in here gets something called a global scope. We can override these in the more specific places like classes. Then they are locally scoped. But more on that later. Let's start by adding a text color variable for light mode and one for dark mode. We will also need a background color variable for both modes. And last but not least we want to be able to change the button color. If you want to be able to change more things on your website, you can add as many variables as you want in here. Now you know how to create variables. But Chunky, you say, how on earth do we use them? That's a great question, my friend. Let me tell you about the var function. So CSS has a bunch of built-in functions. This is one of them. You can replace the contents of a property and put var with the variable you want to use inside. You also have the possibility to put a fallback value in the function if you're targeting older browsers that might not have the support of CSS variables. But all the modern browsers support this CSS function. Now we know about CSS variables, so let's apply this newfound knowledge to add dark mode to our website. We have this good looking website here, I know. It's amazing. We added the variables in our root tag earlier for light mode and dark mode. Let's put the var function to use and set all our content to the light mode variables. I will tell you why in a minute. Oh, and please leave a like if you enjoyed the content. Awesome. Remember how I told you earlier about the global scope where all variables in column root would be accessible everywhere? Well now it's time to apply some magic using the local scope. We create a class called dark mode. Inside this class you can overwrite the light mode variables with the dark mode variables. Now if we add this class to the body tag in our HTML, we can change between light mode and dark mode. There's just a small issue with our images, but there's a really clever way we can toggle between a dark image and a light image. I've prepared a set of our images that are white instead of black so that they are visible when we change to the dark mode. If we duplicate our images in the HTML and add a class light to the light mode image and a class dark to the dark mode image, we can control which one is visible using CSS. First, set the dark images to display none so that only the light mode images are shown. And then we can reverse this if the dark mode class is active. Let's see if it works when we add the dark mode class. Amazing. But there's still a teeny tiny problem. Imagine you are the website visitor. You probably don't want to go into the browser inspector and change classes in the HTML. So we will need to add a way for them to toggle between the modes and that's when we'll need a dark mode button. Let's start by making the section's positioning relative so that we can anchor our button to the top center of the first section with an absolute positioning using a class we call dark mode toggle. Now in our HTML we just need to add a div in the section and give it the class dark mode toggle. Let's also add a button in there so we can see what is happening. All right, let's make it easy for us and use a sun image to represent that the light mode is active and a moon for when the dark mode is active. Apply the light and dark class to only show one of them at a time. Let's add a class to the button so that we can remove this background color and the border. I've put a link to the code in the description of the video if you want to check it out. If you want to brush up your skills on CSS, you're literally one click away from learning everything there is on the subject. Just click on this video right here and I'll tell you all about it.